Eight. <laughs> I washed my hands real quick. I had no place to put you the want towel. To tell <laughs> look, May. Look. Look what he did. Do I you just... do this at home? <laughs> do you do this at home? <laughs> no. In the, in the trash. I had no place to put it. My okay. goodness. We have guest time. I know. I'm we so have sorry. Guests. I'm a horrible, horrible <laughs> host. Host. I'm sorry about that. Okay. This morning, we're eating like Martians. It's because of a book called Meals for <laughs> Mars. The book was written by Dr. Proctor, who just completed a Mars simulation mission in Hawaii along with Aaron. You were here not too long yeah. ago yeah. talking about your prep. First of all, how was it? Oh, the mission was incredible. And uh, the crew, because it was an all-female crew, we, like, everyone interacted really well, and it was a, a successful mission. Now, yeah. how long were you kind of locked in that little capsule in Hawaii for? Two weeks. Two 14 weeks. days, yeah. Did you get stir-crazy at all? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, she, she had lived in that facility for four months. Oh, in wow. Another prior, yeah. yeah. Oh, and we gosh. had mentioned when you guys got back, you were here, and I, mm -hmm. and I ran into you, and you mentioned that what was interesting was spending time outside side of work mm -hmm. and research where you were learning how to sew and and you were mm -hmm. all kind of trading secrets I guess yeah we yeah, absolutely. That's one of the best parts about living in a simulation like that. It was an all-female crew, and you really get time to bond and, you know, learn things from each other. And what I brought in was my Meals for Mars. Perfect. I love this. Yeah. What are they? Well, I, when I lived in the Habitat in 2013, NASA funded my four-month mission specifically to investigate food strategies for long-duration space flight. Wow. So how do you keep astronauts healthy and happy, especially when it comes to mealtime, when you're on Mars. And you have a recipe that you're gonna make for us. Yeah, we're gonna make space tacos okay. using freeze-dried meat. So this is ground beef that's been freeze-dried, peppers, right here, mm -hmm. green peppers, and freeze-dried onions with taco seasoning. So really simple, easy ingredients. And so they've already been cooked. We're just rehydrating it. This easy. is, and this is really the only way that you can do it. Yeah, so what we're talking about is ingredients that are light and because the water's been taken out, so when we're talking about sending food up to space, you want to reduce that weight. But the main thing is it becomes shelf stable mm. for up to a decade. Oh, look oh at that. So wow. Imagine. So I have a couple of samples for you to oh, think about. I was going to say, about. I would love to try something. So yeah. these are freeze-dried corn okay. and freeze-dried peas. All right, I'm gonna and just peas. try oh, I like that. See, isn't that mm -hmm. delicious? Yeah, mm. it tastes just like it. And so this is shelf stable for up to a decade. So you can imagine taking and replacing the frozen peas or the frozen corn in your freezer with this on your pantry, freeze dried. And that smells yeah. amazing. Doesn't it? It smells just like the tacos you make at home. And yep. you prep them like you do. Y exactly. A little cheese, little guacamole. Yep. The whole idea is thinking about what does fresh mean. And so if food is being transported all the way around the world, mm -hmm. is how fresh is that? What are we doing to keep it fresh? A lot of times we're picking it before it's ripe and then using refrigerators and all of that stuff to keep it frozen or fresh. And then that just takes a lot of energy. Yeah. And this can, doesn't. Can people buy your book? Yes, people can buy my book at mealsformars.com. It's okay. available. We'll put all that information on our website. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more time because this is just fascinating to me. You guys will have to come back, please. Yes. But we will be right back. I'm going to make this. you a veggie You're taco. You're going to make me a veggie taco. Yeah. Please do. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Right. Take care.